Ladies and gentlemen, I am Shaw TV's Jay Williams. I'm here with my new best friend, Mike Jensen, of the Manitoba Museum. There's a good reason we're standing in front of these caribou. We're talking expedition to the Arctic. Mike, can you tell us why we're talking about that? Well, I am participating in my fourth expedition to the Arctic uh, with an organization called Students on Ice. Uh, and they've been an organization uh, that has been uh, taking uh, teenagers, uh, ages 14 to 18, uh, to the polar regions, so the Arctic uh, and the Antarctic regions uh, to learn a little bit about those regions, uh, the, the climate, uh, geography, politics, uh, the people, and of course uh, the science of that region. Uh, it's a region that's very uh, important to uh, our planet Earth and uh, it's an area that's very much in danger with our current uh, climate change and global warming. So if I'm not mistaken, you are the sole Manitoban representative on this expedition? Uh, this year, yes. Uh, usually uh, there are a number of uh, students from across Canada representing most provinces and territories. Uh, but the last couple of years, we haven't exactly had any students uh, from Manitoba, which is a shame because a lot of people don't realize and remember that we are a polar province. We have a polar coast uh, and much of our region, as we designate here in our Arctic Subarctic Gallery here at the museum, is polar region. So it's a little bit... Uh, I don't want to say embarrassing, but it's a little bit concerning that we're missing that component from this expedition, not having uh, a Manitoba student. Now, I'm proud to represent Manitoba and the Manitoba Museum there, but uh, I, I really would like to see in the future more Manitobans coming along. Well, maybe if some of our viewers happen to be between the ages of 13 and 17, and next year will be 14 to 18, wink, they, they would be interested in going. Uh, tell us a little bit about exactly what is involved in the expedition and your past experiences. Absolutely. Uh, normally, of course, we travel up to the Arctic. Uh, the itineraries change each and every year uh, and of course a lot of it depends on weather conditions, ice conditions. Uh, we travel on board a ship, uh, usually some sort of refurbished icebreaker of some kind. Uh, and on board we have a number of scientists, educators such as myself, uh, historians, uh, explorers uh, that all are part of what we call the expedition uh, team, uh, the field uh, staff that uh, help to, to uh, educate the students and sort of give them a perspective on the area. Uh, we conduct hands-on activities, we go on zodiac tours uh, out amongst the ice and of course onto some landings if possible. Uh, we have artists on board, musicians. <laughs> that help to uh, to go with that aspect of the, the expedition and help the, 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 the students sort of uh, interpret their in feelings on the polar region uh, using that uh, means. Mr. Bengals took a book out of his pocket and started reading about the ice. The book said the ice was melting because the planet was getting warmer. Oh no! I don't want this to happen, Mr. Bengals said. So he ran all the way down the mountain. Uh, and we conduct practically almost 24 hours these activities. I mean, we, we try to get some sleeping in there, of course, but uh, it's, it's quite an intense program uh, and uh, a lot to experience for these kids. Mike, it seems like uh, in, in these days, there's never been a, a time where the environment has been more at the forefront of, of people's thoughts. Can you, can you talk a little bit about why this expedition is important based on the fact that it's 14 to 18 year olds who are going? Well, I mean, these are the, the, the generation that is going to eventually uh, you know, uh, have control of this world in some way or capacity or in some small part. Uh, you know, the environment is forefront and th these students are exposed to all sorts of different viewpoints uh, across the spectrum and this expedition gives them that first-hand experience. They're able to go and meet with the people who live in the Arctic. They're able to go and conduct science with the scientists who are up there learning about what's changing up there and what effects that's going to have on the rest of the planet. So this is, is truly just their, their way to get that first-hand experience because in a few years uh, they're, they're going to go off to post-secondary education or other um, uh, endeavors and they're going to have to know and use this experience to be able to guide them with their decisions in the future. That's great. Uh, if people want to find out more information about uh, this year's expedition or about how to get involved in the future, uh, where can they go and what can they do? Website for Students on Ice, www.studentsonice, all one word, dot com. Uh, there's a link right on the homepage to the Arctic 2012 expedition, as well as all the future expeditions coming up. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, there'll be daily updates uh, from this expedition as uh, satellite technology will allow us, uh, and you'll be able to follow along with uh, the students as they blog. Uh, and some of the staff, including myself, uh, and see some videos of uh, what we're doing up there. Can't wait to see that. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for speaking with us today. 
keep fighting the good fight. Will do. For Shaw TV, I'm Jay Williams.